Hi, welcome to Abby's Book Reviews. This is the September wrap up. I apologise now for bombarding the last couple of days on videos. I just suddenly realised that I had a weekend to do stuff and I hadn't uploaded videos pretty much all month. So yeah, there are some more to come your way. But yeah, I apologise. Books I read this month. I finished Mad by Chloe Esposito. It's the first in the Mad, Bad and Dangerous to Know trilogy. And if you like crime books or thrillers, I would say it is really good. Also, sisterly slash family relationships, really good in this. There were points when I thought the main character was a bit deranged, but it does fit. Then I reread Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone by J.K. Rowling. Absolutely love this book. Although I've managed to keep it in pretty good shape, seeing as I've reread it probably 30 times now. Loved going back and remembering stuff that happens in the book that doesn't happen in the movie, like Neville being there for most of it. <laughs> we reread The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J. Maas. It is the prequel novella books to the Throne of to Throne of Glass. And it's probably the most recent, apart from Tara Dawn, it's the most recent one I've read. But I really enjoy going back and being able to read it before the rest of the series. It, I think it's helping me with the rest of the series uh, instead of reading it afterwards, like the little links and stuff I'm noticing now. I reread Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets by J.K. Rowling. Again, really enjoyed seeing the bits that were in the book that weren't in the movie. There weren't as many in this book, I don't think. And I reread Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, also by J.K. Rowling. This one, I feel like there is more in this that isn't in the isn't in the movie. It's probably on the same level as number one, number two is less. But yeah, really enjoyed rereading it, and I'm gonna pick up my rereads again in November, December time. Then I read Vengeful by V. Schwab. Oh my gosh, this book is gorgeous and it's massive. Yeah, it's just shy of 600 pages, but it's 600 pages of amazingness and such feminism and, oh my gosh, just, oh, like, so good. So, so good. Yeah. Go read this series. Go read this duology if you haven't. If you've read Vicious, go pick up Vengeful. Oh my gosh. And then the last one for the month of September is my reread of Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas. I really enjoyed it this time. I feel like I enjoyed it the first time and I think I rated it higher than I did this time. I'm trying to be harsh with my ratings than I was two years ago, but it was, I was saying this to my friend on night shifts, so that it's really weird knowing what comes later because I felt like she was being a bit hy hypocritical at points, but then obviously she didn't know what was coming. So, whereas having finished the series apart from Kingdom of Ash I know what's coming so yeah reading it with a different mindset is very different but really enjoyed it. So that is my seven books that I managed to read in September. I have a massive TBR um, for October which will be in two videos time because I'm going to do my vlog next and then my TBR. So go check that out if you want to see. I am taking part in the TBR and Beyond Choose Your Own Path Challenge which is really awesome. Come check it out and enjoy the book you're reading and I will speak to you soon.